Hi, I'm Dr. Max. We're here in uh, Herba Dr. Max Restoration Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we continue our series, kind of mini-series, um, and we'll discuss different uh, case scenarios. Um, and one of those could be your case, and it might be useful. And uh, the purpose of those videos is to, um, uh, to describe uh, what type of uh, problem we have to deal with. Uh, I'm talking about type of hair loss, male, female, and how um, uh, do we address it. So today, a uh, patient uh, is uh, 57 years old, uh, female, uh, with a history of uh, female pattern hair loss. Female hair restoration is very unique because uh, there are a couple actually more than a couple issues that we need to uh, make sure we address before we actually decide the patient is a good candidate for surgical hair restoration. When uh, I see patients in the clinic, um, uh, we start with a thorough um, investigation of what might be cause of the hair loss. We wanna make sure there's no autoimmune conditions such as alopecia areata or other types of uh, scarring alopecia will, which will make a uh, patient uh, uh, not a candidate for surgical hair restoration. The only approved uh, reason for uh, hair restoration is a female pattern alopecia. Oh, of course, we need to rule out other causes such as hypothyroidism, uh, um, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, anemia. Uh, those factors can, uh, can predispose uh, to hair loss and they need to be corrected as well. In our uh, in our case, uh, the patient was a perfect candidate because she follows the, the pattern of the female, uh, uh, female pat pattern hair loss, and that's when we decided to proceed. Other um, specific issues, of course, most of uh, women would not be happy about uh, shaving the entire hair, so we, we need to approach it differently. That's what we did today. Uh, we create those little uh, windows uh, where we trim the hair that will be subjected to uh, harvesting using FUE devices with a small punch. And uh, this way we can harvest up to uh, 2,000 grafts in most of the cases. And that's what we did to actually today. We harvested 1,920. And uh, you can um, uh, see how actually the planning of the donor sites is done with those uh, pictures that you, uh, uh, you see right now. At the end, you can see once the hair is down, um, it's actually undetectable um, uh, to, um, uh, to, uh, from outside, the, the donor areas um, became pretty much invisible. And of course, we have to, um, when we plan uh, the implantation, uh, it is done uh, using uh, sharp implanters and I discussed multiple times the advantages of using sharp implanters. It minimizes the implantation time, and most of the time it cut it down in half. So the grafts are being placed much faster back into oxygenated environment, much lesser trauma to the skull because instead of using a blade and cut uh, roughly twice the size of the grafts when you insert it with forceps, you use implant, uh, which is uh, basically a hypodermic needle, and the, uh, the impact and the size of the incision is uh, really minimal. So the healing is faster, there's less causes for potential edema after or swelling after surgery. And we definitely, we uh, were able to meet all these goals. We were done rather quickly. Today, the patient was able with minimal discomfort, minimal pain for the patient. patient will follow uh, tomorrow with us after the hyperbaric treatment. Uh, uh, I always recommend hyperbaric treatments uh, either before or right after the procedure. It does help with uh, pretty much every thing, every aspect of the surgery. And again, we only take one patient per day. So uh, every staff member, including me, uh, the patient is only one per day and we dedicate every effort and every uh, attention uh, to, uh, to our patient that is scheduled on that particular day. So with any questions, please contact us at 954-945-2909. You can visit our website at bringbackhair.com, bringbackhair.com. Uh, you can see uh, before and after photos of our real patients uh, with video testimonials. There is also plenty of uh, useful information regarding uh, 
uh, causing the hair loss and potential uh, solution. You can submit a, a consultation form request and we will contact you back.